What's going on guys? As you can see, we're gonna go over rope climbs today. Really challenging exercise. This was formerly an Olympic sport. Um, so, you know, it is quite tough, but just to note, there's two forms of rope climbs. Generally, legless and then rope climb using the legs. We're not gonna touch on rope climb using the legs. Um, you do that if you're looking for efficiency of the climb. So if you're looking to climb the rope quickly, what we're gonna cover today is the legless rope climb which is used for developing upper body strength. Rope climb, really challenging body weight exercise. Um, so you have to be a little bit cautious with it. It can be rough on your joints. So I'm gonna give you a progression model you can use um, to build towards your first rope climb or to improve your current climb. Um, if you try to jump into a rope climb without, the, uh, without adequate prep work, you're gonna run into an injury, okay? So I'm gonna give you a few different exercises that you can build up over a few weeks, months, and do them consistently. It's gonna lead to you being able to perform a rope climb, okay? So we're gonna get into it now. I'm gonna show you uh, good, good and bad examples of rope climbs, and then a few different exercises that you're gonna find beneficial for improving your current rope climb or building towards your first legless rope climb. Okay, so let's get into it now. So start from a seated position at the bottom. You don't want to start high up on the rope or jump up on the rope because all that does is increase um, the risk that you can fall from a higher height and injure yourself. Whereas if you start at the ground, you can still climb the same amount of rope but you won't have gone up as high. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start on the ground. Hands in front, overhead. I'm gonna start by pulling to the chest and then just um, place each hand on top of each other. So that was a example of a legless rope climb. I kept my legs out in front of me nice and straight. It's not a must, but it's something I want you to build towards. When you're coming down from the rope in a rope climb, or when you're going up as well, for a part of the motion, all your body weight is gonna be on one hand. This requires a lot of strength, so you wanna be able to have the strength to hold this position here, and not go to climb and be dropping, and then reaching the hands up above each other. So you need to have the strength to hold the rope in this position. If you start, falling down as you take one hand away, you're really gonna flare up, um, flare up your elbows, your shoulders, you're gonna get injured, okay? It'll be inevitable, so you have to be strong enough to do it. I'll give you, I'll do a few shitty rope climbs, um, uh, just show you, show you what it looks like and kind of what you want to avoid. <laughs> okay, that one you're just not strong enough to be climbing the rope. You're not pulling through a full range, you're gonna injure yourself, okay? You don't wanna see that. Another one we don't wanna see is you don't wanna bring in any kipping um, or like swinging of the hips. Again, we're using it to develop upper body strength, so we don't wanna be uh, using the momentum to help get us Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you is just a rope pull up. This is a really good movement to help you build your strength for the rope climb. It gets you used to gripping the rope because obviously it's a little bit uh, different than just gripping a bar. So this is what a rope pull up um, looks like. If you struggle with keeping the legs out in a straddle, you can also do it like so with a more uh, relaxed leg position. So the next one I'm gonna do, it's basically gonna be like a rope climb. You're gonna go through the same hand motion, but I'm going to keep my feet on the ground, okay? so. Looks like so. And this last one um, would be the easiest. 
it's effectively like um, like a ring row or a horizontal row just using the rope. So that would, that would be a more simple one. It's a, it would be a good one to use if you want to say build up volume on the pulling on the rope and get accustomed to the grip. So guys, there's the rope climb. Um, I covered most of the important bits, um, errors and mistakes that people make while climbing the rope, what not to do. And then also a good example and various movements that you can use to build towards your first rope climb. So give it a go, start incorporating it into your training. If you have a rope, if you don't have a rope and you're interested in, um, in, in trying this exercise, you can pick one up on, online for about, you know, between 50 and 80 euro. It's not too expensive and they're quite versatile. You can bring them anywhere really. You can, you know, loop them around, um, around any squat rack or like around a tree if you're training outside. Well guys, if you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and also let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover any other topics, but thanks again for watching, I'll talk to you next time.